hi it's andrea and welcome back to my igtv so i am actually i've been home as everyone else has been and i have been reflecting on some of the books that i've read that have really changed my life and helped me in terms of personal development in terms of becoming resilient in terms of becoming more mentally strong, stepping outside of myself. And I wanted to share a couple of those books with you. So I have my stash here. And the first one I'm going to start off with is um, Marianne Williamson, A Return to Love, and really liked um, her book. And in her book, she really talked about there were only two emotions, love and fear. And uh, also, um, this chat, this section from her book was used for Nelson Mandela's um, inauguration, where he said, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness that most frighten us. And we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? And um, there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. And wow, that changed my life. And just hearing those words and this entire book, again, I would definitely recommend it. Another book that I always recommend is The Four Agreements. This is a companion book, but The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Peckable with your word. And, you know, speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. The second agreement, don't take it personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. And always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you're healthy as opposed to when you're sick. Um, and I find like right now, I think for many of us, we just have to do our best in dealing with this whole pandemic and everything that's happening. Another book that I felt that really that I loved um, was by Ian Van Zandt. I have probably about four or five of her books, six maybe. Um, respect her work, love what she does. And this one is called The Value in the Valley. And there's a lot of people in different types of valleys, you know, the valley of job loss, you know, the valley of business loss, the, the valley of family that you can't see, there's loss there, the valley of feeling that there's no completion or graduations and different things that's happening, the valley of financial loss. Maybe there were certain contracts and certain big things that you had coming that you felt, okay, this was going to be your year and your season. It's all happening. Things are lined up and then contracts are being canceled. And financially right now, a lot of people are in that valley. And I think we must figure that out so that we don't go and keep making some of those same decisions. A book that I would actually recommend. And um, also loved uh, Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth Awakening to Your Life Purpose, because I feel like when we are on purpose, we can now live the calling that, you know, our highest calling for our lives. So truly, truly like this book as well. This book I use, um, I used to be a teacher that became an entrepreneur. It's really good. And I found this book was very helpful. And then this one, um, excuse me, your life is waiting, maybe not as popular because, um, you know, it's a New York Times bestseller, but really, really good about, um, you know, basically written you know, great examples about feelings and vibration. And that is my book review, the Bailey Brown book review from the bookshelf. So here, bye-bye.